All right, today we're at Silliman University and the university has been kind enough to provide two very talented young students who are ambassadors and trained guides to show us around the university. Yes! And here they are. The first person is Ace. Hi, it's a pleasure to tour you around the university. Once again, I'm Ace and I'm a second year medical technology student. That's great. And Jed? Yes, hello everyone. I'm Jed. I'm a second year financial management student. So just a bit of background of our organization. Okay. We are the Silma University Corps of Campus Ambassadors. We are a voluntary organization uh, in the university that is tasked to tour guests around the campus. Aside from that, we also usher in events and we participate in school campaigns. Basically, what we Ace and I hope to do is to give you a fir good first impression of Silma University as well as provide you with the best Silma experience. Fantastic. That's just great. And also too, they'll be giving us lots and lots of history. Behind me is the Silliman Church and construction was started in 1941 just prior to the bombing of Pearl Harbour and so it was stopped and then resumed again in 1949 after the war. The university during its history has actually been closed down twice. Uh, when and why was that? Yeah so during the World War II the school was closed down but again that didn't hinder Silimanians from pursuing quality education so what they did was they evacuated to the mountains of Malabo here in Negros Oriental giving birth to the very first jungle university in the Philippines and once again during the martial law the university was once again closed down again Silimanians keep pursuing quality education so what they did was they actually secretly met in the secret basement here in the church it's called the catacombs and that is where they hold their secret meetings so to speak. Well, here in Silliman University, we don't just offer college education, but we also um, offer education from early childhood. So this is where I personally had my preparatory classes. And not only that, we also have our elementary, junior high school, and senior high school, and then our college education. <laughs> Ace and Jed were just telling me there's a superstition associated with this statue of Hibbard behind me and that is that if you take a photograph of yourself with this statue before you graduate, you won't graduate on time. You can see these magnificent trees, there are acacia trees and there's 307 planted around the university and each time there's a new president of the university they plant another one. This is the Oriental Hall uh, and it used to be a female dormitory and there's a bit of a story to that. have this harana culture so back then when a guy uh, sings uh, or like confesses his love to the person or the, to the woman that she likes she uh, the guy has to sing her, his heart out to the lady so back then uh, guys used to come here in oriental hall and would serenade to the ladies and if the girl likes the boy back she would open the windows and turn on the lights once she'd opened the windows and turned on the lights what happened then ace once they would, um, once she would, you know, confirm that he likes the guy back, their door managers would actually allow the girl to come down and spend a few ta a few minutes together. And then once time is up, they would, the girl would be asked to go back up, and the guy would be asked to, you know, go back to <laughs> their dormitory. And this was in around about the 1920s. Yeah, um, 1920s and after, because 1920 was when the Oriental Hall was. So the Oriental Hall is known as a female dormitory. And actually, it, the very first, I mean, the cornerstone of this very dormitory was laid by our very first female student, which was Miss Pura Blanco. So this is the back of the Oriental Hall, uh, the female dormitory. And there was a matrona 
who was in charge of all the girls and there's a story that she fell out somehow fell out of the second story window to the ground didn't die but managed to make it all the way back up to her room and then died there and her ghost can still be seen haunting the Oriental Hall to this day. And so this is the... This is the Claire Isabel McHill Luce Auditorium. And it's a 750 seat auditorium and the exterior of the building is designed to look like the hull of a ship. There is a myth that these statues are actually students or were students who didn't go home on time and turned to stone. In 2012, Silliman University started offering architecture. It's a five-year course. At the end of that five-year course, the first graduates were competed in a competition and the winners designed this building. So the building's actually been designed by Silliman students. All right, this little place, this little kiosk is on campus. So this is a Bossing's tempura and their uh, spicy sauce comes in five levels. And there's, uh, what is it, a superstition about this? Well, what's the superstition? Um, it's more of like a goal. Bucket list. A bucket yeah. list for every yeah, right. Sulaimanian that before they graduate, they could conquer, or at least attempt to conquer, <laughs> the level five, five tempura. And so we are all going to have one <laughs> level five tempura each. <laughs> And we might not be able to speak for the rest of the tour. <laughs> so this might be the end of the video. <laughs> Alright, so this is fish in a tempura. Okay. Can we just dip yeah. in? Ready? Give it a little twirl. Whoa. That's pretty well coated. Ready? Oh! oh. Mm -hmm. Ice. Oh gee, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. I'm tearing up. <coughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty spicy. Mm -hmm. Yep, I've got tears in my eyes. Yeah, I'm also tearing up. Oh gee. <laughs> We're ready to graduate. Tick that off the bucket <laughs> list. Whoa. Sorry, how much is that? Yes, Are there six pesos each? Yes. Yeah. How do you find six it? Six pesos each. Pretty spicy. It's very good. Well, we've conquered our level five. Gave us a bit of a stuffy nose, right, Jed? And teary eyes. And teary eyes. Oh. <laughs> Royal to refresh. Swimming lessons for first year students are mandatory. So behind me is Channon Hall, which is a, a women's dormitory uh, at the moment. But formerly, 
it was uh, a garrison uh, station for the uh, Japanese Imperial Army during their invasion of Dumaguete and also a torture chamber. So the tree you can see behind me uh, is known as the Tree of Life but also the Tree of Life and Death because after people were tortured in Shannon Hall their bodies were hung from the branches of this tree. So we are now at the Chapel of Evangel and the Chapel of Evangel was made by um, a Taiwanese educator Mr. Chen Chi Kwan and also it is known as one of the holiest chapels here in the university and you can see why. And so last of all, the beautiful Silliman Hall. So behind me is the beautiful Silliman Hall. It was the first building uh, in the whole university. It was built in 1903. Right, that's the end of our comprehensive and fascinating tour of Silliman University. Thank you very much, Ace. Always a pleasure. And Jed. Hello. For that very informative tour. Well, that was a wonderfully comprehensive tour of this beautiful 122-year-old campus uh, of Silliman University. I'm at the gorgeous uh, Silliman University in Dumaguete and I'm here because a beautiful person subscriber, Ron Rico, uh, sent me an invitation uh, and to, to this uh, event that we're about to attend. And so what's it all about? Well, the Dean of the Law Faculty, Florin Hillbay, uh, has written a book called An Introduction to Bitcoin. And I've read the introduction to the introduction to Bitcoin. And in it, he says, it's about money. It's not about making money. And I found that quite intriguing. It really is about an introduction to Bitcoin, which is something that I know very little about. And uh, Professor Florin Hillbay sounds ultimately qualified to actually have written this book and to be giving this talk. He has uh, a bachelor degree in uh, economics and law that he got in the Philippines and a master degree in law that he got at Yale University in the States. So, economics and law, yep, sounds about right to me. Now they've allowed me to video, and obviously I'm not going to be videoing much of the, com of the talk because it goes for two hours. But I might, I might put in a couple of highlights, uh, see if I can have a bit of a chat with him afterwards, and uh, we'll also have a bit of a chat with our subscriber. So this is going to be a very different type of vlog. So this is the beautiful Silliman Hall, and the, the talk will start in about 10 minutes I believe uh, and it's it's starting to fill I'd say it'll be a full house have a look at the pressed metal ceilings it's beautiful the university was established by the Americans in 1901 and it's a Protestant university it's absolutely gorgeous I give you attorney Florine Hillman Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, don't get too impressed. I'm just a small guy wearing rubber shoes. And inflation is the slow and creeping death of the currency. It's really not as possible.
I'm just speaking to Florence now, and I just want to ask him one question. And that question is, once I read this book, as the author, what would you like my takeaway to be? I'd like your takeaway to be from, or well, henceforth, you'll become a sound money advocate. Become a, a sound, sound money. money advocate. You'll be very skeptical about inflation yep. will be very worried about government debasement of money about them increasing the money supply and uh, fixing and manipulating interest rates and that's that's the takeaway yes and and logically that means that i would be more interested in bitcoin. opting into bitcoin and opting out of the current fiat system right okay thank you very much thank you but as i said before Florin is the Dean of Law here at Silliman University and he was just telling me that they're opening a cafe that yeah, it's a sat it's called the Sats Cafe and it will only accept Bitcoin and so it's a way to promote Bitcoin adoption uh, we will accept uh, Bitcoin only in that cafe and so if you have fiat like dollars or pesos you need to download a Bitcoin wallet buy Bitcoin from the cafe, and that's the only time you can pay for coffee with your Bitcoin. Right, that's interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is beautiful person subscriber, Ron Rico, Hello. who told me about this. Hi there. Um, what did you think about it? What, what did you think of the presentation? I, I thought it was pretty good. Well, it could be a historical moment for us here because uh, Bitcoin is going to start in this university. Yeah, well, Bitcoin will start in the Philippines, probably, at this university. So it could be a historical moment, couldn't yeah, it? a momentous event. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for inviting me. Uh, you're welcome. Well, it was an absolute pleasure to go to Silliman University. It's such a beautiful campus. And it's been a bit of a different vlog, and I hope you've enjoyed it. No food! Mm -hmm.